Hi, welcome to Cloud Tech Bucket. So in this series of video, we are going to uh, practice or make a lab how we can install and com configure combo backup. So today we will learn how to download the combo package and how to install it. So let's get started. I have a lab environment. So in this computer, I'm gonna download the Commod of Comserve package. So you can search on Google uh, by Commod store, then you will get this link store.comboll.com. So if you browse this uh, link, you will get uh, this uh, window where you can see you have two options for media kits. One is LTS release, which is 11 or 36. There is an evolution uh, innovation release, which is 11 or 38. So, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna download this 11 or 36, which is LTS release from uh, Combold. So, if, if you are not logged into the Combold portal, then it will ask you to provide your username and password and, and the type of Hmm. Logins you uh, want. There is a partner login, customer login. So you need to uh, log in over there. And then, as you can see, we have two options. One is uh, uh, Windows platform, and second is a uh, Linux platform. So I'm gonna install it on a Windows environment. So I'll download this media kit. So it's going to start. It's almost there. In my C drive, it's been downloaded. I am gonna open this installation file. <clears throat> it will extract to my C drive. That's fine for me. Okay, so the language um, English is good for me. I'll click next, then agree. Next. So we can directly install Comboard packages to this computer from the internet. It will download the package and you will install it here. But I'm not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do, I will download the packages to this computer and from this computer, I will copy all the packages to my Comboard server. And then I will install it over there. I'm clicking next. And then platform is Windows, good for me. Clicking next. I want latest maintenance releases. I'm selecting that. Clicking next. I will choose media kit, oh, which will create a new concept. Clicking next. I need all in on package. The default download location, that's good for me next so i need a uh, mssql server including the latest service patch so i'll um, click these two options click next so it's it's going to download the package into my c drive so once the download is completed i will uh, copy those files from here to my comfort server Okay, so the download is completed and I copied the installation package to my com server. So here, as you can see, my download package, which is Windows 64 bit. <coughs> we will need to run this installer. You can run it, um, just open it if, if you are logged in with administrator privilege, or you can just uh, run it as administrator. So the language English is good for me. Click next. Agree the license agreement. Then install packages to this computer. I'll create a new com cell as this is a phrase installation. I'll choose all in all, or you can choose um, the advanced component, or you want to install this uh, computer, but I'm choosing all in all. Click next. So it will it will uh, analyze the packages uh, whatever needs. And then 
it will ask us to select the web installations locations like the configurations of the comfort server and its database locations and then um, its uh, dr disaster recovery location so we'll get back to there okay there we go so it's asking the installation path of the default c drive that's fine for me clicking next and now data recovery path which is uh, if we uh, want to uh, store our data then which location it can be so uh, i have e drive which um, where i have one terabyte of capacity so that's fine for me clicking next a skill server engine path that's fine for me clicking next then database path that's okay for me and uh, the gistar recovery locations <clears throat> it's good to have uh, the Commodore com sub configurations file uh, dr file to any network location that is recommended but in my case i don't have any network path ready uh, till now so what i will do i will um, store it on e drive so that if my os corrupted or from serve configuration goes down uh, goes lost um, so that i can get it from the e drive so i'll choose this Commodore dr folder click next so you can choose these options if you have uh, uh, upload content store recalls but i don't have that so i'm leaving this blank click next and here the installation summary whatever i have preferred so that's included here what's gonna be installed it here there is a package list combo server media agent then mongodb you know all those required packages will be and the third party packages will be installed in my computer so that's good for me i'm clicking next then installation has started we will wait for a couple of minutes to complete this installation once the installation is done we'll be back again so at this stage uh, we'll need a reboot as the uh, IS service roles need to be installed. So the second part of installation will continue after the reboot. So let's reboot the machine. Okay, that's fine for me. Okay, the server is back after reboot. So I'm gonna resume the installation. And installation is completed now come serve itself need to provide a client display name and the host name we will use the host name rather than the ip but if you want you can uh, use the ip address but in my case i will use the host name clicking next then yes it, it will be a uh, new database and if you have any you know uh, disaster recovery database then you can also import that I provide the uh, email and the password. Okay, it's creating comes up database now and the SQL as and all those things. Okay, so the step on is completed. Now, if you see uh, in previous time when it was uh, Commodore console console. Uh, it was a local you know installed based tools now it's uh, fully html5 so if i click over here it will open into my browser which is the html base <coughs> okay let me log in with my username admin i will click on stay login continue and my password
Okay, there you go. So you will get uh, a trial period. So as you can see, my trial period is uh, April 13th. So in between this time, you have to purchase the license or you have to active the license. So we will get back to that uh, how we can active the license on our later video. So today, till till now, from uh, our session two, we will continue how can we add storage, how can we add uh, storage plan, and how we can integrate client database, all those things. Hope we will see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.